Josiah Plays Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire Alright, we're here in the Oathbinder Sanctum 4th floor where I was when my game crashed at the end of the last one. Might have to redo a tiny bit of stuff here. Whatever it was that I did before the crash last time. I've actually completely forgotten how to play. Oh, who the fuck was this Zora? There was something going on here. I've completely forgotten everything. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. We're led into a trap with some Zorups. It's a tarp. Oh, I remember. I did this fight before. That's fine. Let's, let's DB some fools. Dire Bless. That's it. What did he just do? Oh, called a slumber, just knocked some motherfuckers out. Good job, Aloth. He just put eight motherfuckers to sleep. Just to verify. Okay, so game crashed at the end of the last one, despite the fact that I'm in full screen. But I said, but we might have some good news. There was an official patch. Like a like an actual numbered patch, not just like a tiny little update. So maybe, nope, can't change level scaling though. But maybe that will fix the. Am I still on full screen? Yeah. Okay. Maybe next patch will fix what I want to fix. I'm kind of glad that Palagina stuck because that allowed me to buff her before she ran out of the out of the area. All right, let's get serious here, dude. I feel like my party has got this. How did all these fuckers back here already die? Aloth is just shredding shit. I feel like Aloth could solo this fight. He's just annihilating everything. I don't feel like charming anybody. Look, Adair will be fine if I hit him with the sunbeam, right? He'll be fine. He, he was fine. Let's see. Dude, that- look how many I killed with that sunbeam, though. I would just want to know how much damage I did to Adair. I grazed him for three. For three! But did I blind him? I did blind him for a few seconds. Sorry, Adair. Why does he have a wrenched shoulder? Are we still in a fight? I'm confused. Oh, we are. That's a lot of Zarups. Too bad level scaling isn't on. Like I said last time, if that would have been level scaled instead of these Zarups being several levels below us, that could have actually been a real fight. Unfortunately, still not possible to turn level scaling on. Like, why would it you ever not want level scaling? Like... Ooh, Thief's Putty. That's right, my game crashed, like, right after I looted this Thief's Putty last time. Mm -hmm. 
Or no, I came over here and found some item, some special item that I was gonna look at, and then my and then my game crashed. Ordinary sword. Examine the sword. Yes, so ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary about this sword. It's just an ordinary sword. Well, actual ordinary swords aren't called ordinary sword. That's your first clue. Hold on, did I save? Make sure we don't have some kind of cursed item on our hands. When you examine the weapon, it starts to glow. The latent magic of the blade has been unlocked. The Watcher's blade has been... Why does it give me so many swords? I don't use swords, and it's just like, hey, want a bunch of swords? I mean, you know, you should expect that there's always going to be swords, but... It's a fine sword. Soul severing, that's pretty fucking nice. Wait, so is... Oh, it is a unique. But it doesn't have any special text. But apparently you can... Ooh. Ooh. It's a fucking cool sword, actually. But the thing is, nobody's really gonna use it, because I already have an obstreperous sword that wants me to use it. And only me. He certainly isn't going in sword blazing. Shodi has a superb saber to use. She uses two-handers and is not going to use some one-hander. And he's already deep in good swords. He's got good swords coming out his ass. Not literally, because that would be both gross and painful. Like, hypothetically, let's say we toss this sword over here to Adair, and we do a, a compare. Yeah, no. He's gotta stick with Duskfall, I believe. And if we take this sword and toss it over to Shodi... She's kinda gotta stick with Superb Saber, I mean... I like the idea of this sword, especially if you... ...chanted it up. Well, okay, if you chanted this up to, like, Superb... ...and put these enchants on it... ...it would probably be super rad, but that's a really expensive proposition we're talking about. Because it says Watcher's Blade, I'll hold on to it in my own personal inventory for now. I'll make sure we're not carrying anything around in the stash that I actually want to keep. Well, I guess we, we kind of are. Just antidotal evidence. Gotta keep watch on it. Yeah. Let's see what you did there. This is like important items. Still carrying around this troll's head because I haven't found the bounty for it yet. All right. Well, it's cool to find a cool sword. I could have, I mean, you could have come here, well, I can't see the world map right now, but you could have come here actually really early in the game before ever going to Nekataka, before ever going to Fort Deadlight, before ever going anywhere, because it was right on the way to Nekataka. So if you'd stopped here right away, without having gotten any of those other swords yet, you'd probably be, and if you're, especially if your main character used a sword, you'd probably be pretty fucking excited about that sword right about now. Unfortunately, none of those things apply to us. 
I like how I checked this corner, walked away from this corner, came back and checked this corner again. You never know! I think I'm done in here. I think Oathbinder's Sanctum is clear. This is where I fought some oozes. Wait a minute. Did I not loot this? Why would you wade through that when you could just walk right here? Seriously, Shoddy? Oh, that's right. This corpse doesn't have anything on it. It just pretends like it does. Hashtag loot pretense. Oh wait, I never went up that other set of stairs though. To see where it leads. Because that's not the set of stairs I came down, so... Presumably this leads to a different area that I haven't been yet. Also, this is just a... Little dead end, right? Oh uh, yeah, there's like a cave in here. I've got tea. So that's the important thing. I gotta go to the grocery store today, though, because I'm out of everything. Once I finish this little bit of tea I have, I'll be out of all foods and all beverages. I will still have water, however, thanks to the magic of plumbing. Maybe she was dehydrated and couldn't help going in there. I feel like if a person from Dark Sun walked into my apartment and I turned my fucking faucet on for them and just showed them that unlimited water comes out of there, they would be like, you are the- you must be the richest person on your entire planet. And I'm like, oh no, you don't understand. Everyone has this. Well, in most countries. Oh, I see. This is just the shortcut back. We couldn't open this door before. This was a fun little dungeon. Unfortunately, the monsters weren't scaled up, though, so... Well, I didn't come here originally because I thought, oh, that's probably too hard right now. I waited long enough to come back, though, that now it's just way too easy. If only there was a feature in the game that allowed you to... I'm clicking so hard on all of this. I can't even raise the difficulty, because you're not allowed to put it on Path of the Damned. Unless you picked it in the beginning. Which is another questionable decision. Oh no. I, mean, I don't think the game has crashed, but my music suddenly cut out, strangely. I think we're fine. I think it's just taking a second. Alright, good. The sight of a recent battle spreads before you. The bodies of the routed forest still lie where they fell, though most have been picked clean by scavenging beasts. This is what's gonna take my buff off. Because it's been a long fucking time, okay? 
I've been traveling around on this motherfucker. I've been traveling around since day 99, hour 6. Now it's... Oh. Well... 13 Deep Summer... But not, okay. So... It's been five days. Five and a half days. It's been five and a half days, and that end buff has not worn off, so... It does seem to really want to stay until your next rest, but here's what I think happens. I think whenever you go to one of these locations, and you spend time searching, it makes your your in buffs fall off for some reason. I think that's just a bug, actually. Because look, I still have my seven metaphysics. Buffs are on. If I search this... Keep searching this location. Three hours passed. I found some padded armor. Leave. Buffs are instantly gone. So you can run around for five and a half days. Don't lose the buff. Search of place for three hours. Buffs are gone. Pretty sure that's a bug. The other reason I think it's a bug is because if I, you have food buffs on, from food resting, it doesn't get rid of them. It only gets rid of in buffs. So it's got to be a bug. It's a terrible bug, though, because I hate losing those in buffs and having to go back and get them again. But I also can't simply not search these places. Some Azada Nui shells. A hunting bow. Is it any good? No. A sword. You've wandered the length of the battlefield, there's nothing left of any value. I mean, at least they could have given me, you know, a fine hunting bow. I bought one, but still. And now I have to go all the way back to the fucking wild mare and buy those buffs again. I like the fact this place is a ziggurat, though. This is kind of like what they have in Dark Sun. Like we found buried in the mountain. Yay, ziggurats. Dour old Forwin. We have not yet explored Dunnage. Alright, what else was I going to do on this trip out of Nekataka? I was going to explore the island the Nekataka itself is on. I was going to go to Hasongo and do the quests there. But before that, I think I got to go get my buffs again. Oh, I can return to Khan. And she's at the place where I get the buffs. So that's actually super convenient. Being able to do two things in one trip is always really good. I found yeah, so I'm pretty sure if you don't spend time searching a place, those buffs don't go away. Ooh, there's something hard over here. But if you do spend time searching a place, the buffs immediately go away. A lot of stuff on this island, actually. Some of which is not a place you want to fuck around with. How's my supply situation looking? We're down to 82 morale. I think I need to take them off of water now. Put them back on rice, wine, and ale. 
Keep him on hagfish. Hurrah for the dead fire lines. Look how many look how many triumphs I've got. That's seven enemy captains I've defeated. I am the god of the waves. Now that I have that aft cannon, I'm a big old cheater. Alright, we're just gonna go in. And, uh, hit up the wild mare. One triumph for each sea. Yeah, I wonder how many seas this world has. Probably a lot. So I'm pretty well decided that I'm going to switch over to Pathfinder for the next game I run. Which I've never run before, but it's so similar to 3.5 D&D that it's like I've run it before. Musician, dock worker, commoner. Intel. Intel inside. Now, what can I do for you? Do you see anything you like? I got a bunch of junky items to sell you. So kettle helm, I'll keep those capes, they're not really worth much. I'll keep that, I'll get rid of that, I'll get rid of those bombs, I'll get rid of that scroll, I'll keep those, I'll get rid of those traps, I'll get rid of that, I'll keep that. Nothing here I really want to get rid of. Yeah, I'll keep my ship items. Alright, 2400 more big coins. That doubles our money. So we're, we're not as, we're not like super broke. I mean, we were down to like 400 copper. We were really broke, but now we're, now we're back up in the, you know, state where things aren't so bad. I'll buy all the ale. And I will get the private dance room. Scandalous buffing. No, sca no, no, Nox. Pathfinder does not have the same general non copyright setting. Pathfinder has its own ludicrously detailed setting. Like, to read all the stuff about Pathfinder's setting, you'd have to sit down and read thousands of pages. Which I know almost nothing about, beyond what I've read so far on the wiki. <laughs> But I mean, no, there's like hundreds of Pathfinder books. It's a little bit absurd how many products they put out.
I'm pretty sure, actually no, not pretty sure, I am sure, there's more stuff out for Pathfinder in terms of the setting than there is for any D&D &D setting that's ever been, including the Forgotten Realms. Well, it might be about a tie with the Forgotten Realms, but probably would be more than the Forgotten Realms soon, because they keep cranking shit out like madness. Uh, they have guns. It's kind of the same tech level as Pillars of Eternity, I think. They have guns. Apparently Shodi wants to talk to me, but does she really? Watcher. Shodi claps her hands together excitedly. Foregoing nibbling on her bottom lip, she beams you a sunny grin. Guess what? Now go on and guess, really. What is it? No dreams, waking or sleeping. I ain't had a one since losing those souls. Hiking her chin up, she grins even wider. I feel so fine. Like I swallowed a star and now I got light bursting from my chest. Well, in fairness, Shodi, if you swallowed a, a star, you would not be feeling fine. Can you see it in me? This happiness? It's all on account of you, Watcher. The fuck kind of statement is that? That's great, Shodi. <laughs> Everything's different now. She nods. The world looks so dang bright, doesn't it? Even at night. She tips her face up, staring straight into the blazing sun. Uh, we're in the middle of an inn. <laughs> the lack of nightfall apparently isn't enough of a deterrent to jar her from her thoughts. The sky goes all glittery with stars. Must be what the gods see when new souls are born. They really should have made it so this conversation only triggered if you're outside. Because it sounds kind of stupid right now. Palagina. Jodi, you just did a Starbucks candy. Don't act so dramatic. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. No, that's Skittles. What's the catchphrase for Starburst? Is there one? As Shodi saunters off, she sides with contentment. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, tell me what's on your mind. Not a one. I never knew nothingness could feel so warm and so nice. Love me some nothingness. I need to fiddle foot around. Sure thing. Bye. These other people don't have anything new to say, yes. I take it. God damn it, Aloth. Ah. Yes. You only have to ask. Something I can do. What's not on you? I wonder if anything's been fixed with the reputations. Well, this has gone up to a two finally. It was at one forever, even though I got the achievement that said I had maxed rep with a companion. Either that achievement was bugged and I shouldn't have gotten it, or it's still not displaying the full amount of rep gain. I don't know. I think that achievement was bugged. I don't think I was supposed to get that achievement then. I kind of want to do some quests for the Royal Deadfire Company so they stop hating me. I haven't even gone to their section of the city yet and met with their represent met with their re representative, I was going to say. Met with their representative. Oh, Palagina finally started liking me. Hers was at zero forever. I don't know why Aloth doesn't like me. I think he's still pissed that I never used him in my party in the first game. I shall. Even though I didn't import a save, so he actually has no way of knowing that. Alright, let's go up and get... Oh, wait, let's turn this quest in. Good job. Good news, Khan. Don't you have a temple to find? I found Oswald. And? Where is he? Did you get my money? Funny thing, but Oswald was flat broke. Not a copper to his name. That twisty old pig licker. I should have known. Khan slams her fist on the table. The utensils jump. She looks away quickly, tears just budding on her eyelashes. 
I honestly, if I still had a lot of money, I would have just given her 5k probably, but I don't even have 5k now. Tears budding on her eyelashes and dashes them away with a shuddering sigh. After the brief storm of emotion has passed, she steadies herself and turns hard eyes on you. Gods, but I'm dead tired of this wretched archipelago. Dead tired of dead fire. She exhales a deep sigh. So, if you don't mind, I'll be taking my leave. May Wells Legion of Creepy Eyes watch your back and all that. Han gives you a curt nod and finishes the remainder of her drink with a gulp. She hustles out the tavern without so much as a wave goodbye. That's not really a very good ending to that quest. I feel like better things would have happened if I could have gotten her that money. Oh well. What can you do? Wait, that's not true! Oswald did not die! I saved him and let him go! What the fuck? Why does it say Oswald died? Like, that's my quest update? Just... Oswald died? That's a weird thing for it to just suddenly say as it closes out the quest. Did she go hunt him down and murder him? Is that why he died? That's a Lodi, not Oswald! God damn it. I don't feel like that went the right way. Basically, quest failed. Even though I did everything I was supposed to do. Mm. There's an Alice. Now she's gonna be like, talk to me when I'm in my room. Meet me in my room if you'd like to hear a verse or two. Look, I ain't got time for this. I just need my buff. Get your ass in the room. Read me the same fucking poem that you always do every time. Ridiculous. Wait, what is she doing? She's faffing about with her little wardrobe. That's nice. Let's let's get this. Have you come to hear some verse? Tell me about yourself. It's futile to attempt to summarize the whole of a person in simple words. How to capture their dreams, the desires of another, their feel and taste. But I appreciate your curiosity nonetheless. I am an actor. I think we heard all this. <laughs> Trained from childhood. Difficult for you to believe, I'm sure. Oh no, it's very easy to believe. Given... A teasing smile pulls at the corner of her lips. Her voice is wistful, almost melancholic. My troop were my family, and we traveled the whole of the Adir Empire, performing the classic literatures to cheering audiences. <laughs> Number two is hilarious! Too bad you didn't do something more productive with your time. Sounds like a pleasant The work life. was good when the crowds yeah, I found been a more dependable this. application of my talents here to touch the hearts of others with my voice. I could not give that up. Pretty sure that's not what these people want you to touch them with. All right, give me your I've buff. I've told you all I know. Oh shit, wrong button. Give me Do your buff. You know Skilba? She wrote oh at the God. time before You don't Adir's know how much I know Skilba. When the kingdom was fire bright and I'm hearing the Skilba poem the in my I fucking knew. sleep. Could I, could I get my buff now? A pleasant diversion. Yes. Then she locks visit me in a room every time, time. my friend. Yeah, alright. I will, actually. I'll visit you lots of times, because I really like this buff. Metaphysics and two to perception? That's really good. For a hundred for a hundred copper, super worth it. Especially since it really does last forever until you search something. The minute I open up a shoe box and look inside there, I forget all about the poem. But I could spend days and days sailing all over the world, trekking through islands. That poem's stuck in my head. I fucking, I fucking so much as, I fucking so much as brush aside a bit of hay to see what's underneath it. Poem gone.
That's a bug. I wonder if that's been reported, though. Nobody else might have really noticed and pieced that together. Because they're probably not paying as close of attention to their buffs, or they're just assuming, or they're resting a lot more, or they're just... I mean, somebody else had to have obviously noticed it, but the question is, has anyone actually ever reported that to them? Of course, we're not in the beta anymore, so there's no longer a bug report button. So I, I would have to actually, like, go sign into the Obsidian forums, make a post, hey, all of Pal that. Gina, I know you're kind. You can't have children. Would you have wanted them? So. Ah. It is because I cannot give my country children that I give them so much of the life I have. When I was younger, I took it for granted I'd have them one day. <laughs> Free labor. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time passed before I knew it. Hardly gave it a thought until now. You are not getting any younger. I know you do not like thinking, it. <laughs> maybe it's time to start. That was a good conversation. He said free labor. And then she said, I know you don't like thinking. Hey, that's not fair. Adair has a solid 10 intellect. You're not that much smarter, don't get too excited. Okay, Aloth is legitimately smart. And I am a motherfucking genius with a 23 percept. Did you just say percept, Josiah? I did. Could you not ever? Look at my mechanic skill right now. Very strong. I'm sure my mechanics is now exactly one point lower than whatever it is I need to fucking pick next. No, I've I've never had any problem picking locks. Or disarming traps. I just have problems with things in dialogue where they're like, "Oh, you have a you have a seven metaphysics. This requ this requires eight. You have a nine insight. This requires ten. You have a seven diplomacy. This requires eight. Every damn time it seems like. All right, where am I going? I'm leaving. I'm going on a mission. fuck is this guy doing? So yeah, the Bard's Tale looks like it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if I would say it looks like it's gonna be good. It, it looks like it might be good, or it might suck, but... But it looks like it's gonna be interesting. And considering it's called the Bard's Tale, it's going to be the spooniest game of all time. But what was the name of that song that I thought was so awesome? I'm going the wrong way. I need to go to my ship. Look at my beautiful, beautiful sea cow. I need to go to the sea cow right over here. Compulsory cavorting, right? It's basically like, it's basically like, uh, Otto's Irresistible Dance from D&D. &D. But Irresistible Dance doesn't sound nearly as cool as compulsory cavorting. Compulsory cavorting is amazing. All right. We're out of here. Actually, I'm going to leave on foot first. Let me look at my quests again. Uh, Hasongo for the main quest. A lot of, a lot of, okay, that's up to the northeast. Haven't been, even been up there at all. Uh, Sacred Stair and Nekataka. Get the crates. Uh, I got to figure out if there's a way I can get those crates without stealing them. Kilveen. Hokokohara. I got a few quests in that area. Speak to the Hazanui. Haven't been to the Brass Citadel yet. That's in Poke that's in Nekataka also. 
Deliver this to, again, over by Pokokohara. Songo can go there, do that at the same time we're doing the main quest. Animancer's in the Sacred Stair. So what, is that a couple people in the Sacred Stair I needed to talk to? Yeah, a couple people in the Sacred Stair. Uh, Tigawara, that's the Pokokohara area again also. Nekataka in Pariki's Overlook. More about Pokokohara and wait for Aloth. Okay, now this is the one... Nomu the Marauder is the one who is on this island with us. So I'm going to leave by foot, actually. Take you one hour, 31 minutes. Buffs are gone, lol. <laughs> that would make me so mad. <laughs> that would be brutal. All right. We've never explored this island before. Let's just verify. Still got the buffs. No, get off that. I want that fruit over there. What? Okay, what's the fucking problem? Why are you doing that? Go get the fruit. Thank you. That's a lot of fruit. There's no move the Marauder, but let's not go off half cocked. I want to see what's like going on at Weba Otangaloa, other than me losing my buffs. Which, if that's the case, I'm gonna. I swear to God, I will quick load and not search it right now. Huana tribes traditionally keep their dead onto pyres or give their bodies to the deep sea, but mounds like these suggest that Orangas of honor, wealth, and distinction were buried nearby. I don't like the looks of that. You come upon a flight of wide steps that descend deep into the earth. Chill air radiates from a dark doorway at the bottom of the stairs. It smells faintly of dust and cold stone. I found some scoria and buff instantly gone even though it's only been a few hours motherfuckers I'm not searching any areas right now I'm not searching any areas I'll come back and wait until I'm just about to go back into the city and can get my buffs again and then search areas but for now no Not like I'm going to find anything good in there anyway, most likely. Let's keep it real. We can find out what's in Maokotu's canopy, though. Get some fruit. Man, I'm deep in fruit. How much fruit do I have? 245. Wow. So when I need to raise the crew's morale, giving them fruit seems like the way to go because I have so much of it. Hashtag deep in fruit. I literally have no hard tack. This is amazing because I had so much of it. Dude, when you go out sailing, that crew fucking eats. Of course, I do get minus 40% food requirement because of the cook now. So actually, they only eat seven per day. Mostly they drink. Thirteen per day. Too bad I can't get, like, a bartender on my ship that somehow makes them drink less per day. <laughs> well, 
Let's find out what's in here. I'm suspecting it's a fight. You're cutting your way through the dense, hilly jungles to the west of Nekataka when you stumble upon a small campsite. At first, it merely appears abandoned. The two tents present have collapsed. But then you see the bodies. Two corpses, torn apart and mostly eaten, sprawl across the dark earth. Let's search with perception. Obviously, it's going to be the one with 23 perception. The campsite has been thoroughly destroyed. The tents lie crushed as if under some great foot. As if under some great foot or actually under some great foot? Because there's, there's a great foot going around. A kettle rests on its side, very nearly caved in, and the fire has been stomped out. Ooh, I got a religion check. Nine with party assist, very nice. Because most of that's from Shodi. Because her religion is fucking ten. The bodies, what's left of them, bear the tattered remnants of the robes and holy symbols of the Dawn Stars. Wow. Knocking that arcana out the park. Well, who's that mostly from? Okay, so Shodi and... and uh, Shodi and... Aloth both have a shitload of arcana. That's good. Because I only have a little bit. A handful of arrows pincushion the trees to the south of the camp. Where they've struck the trunks, the bark bears a thin layer of ice. It's slowly melting in the warm tropical air. Ice? That's weird. The trees to the south hunch bent aside, as if whatever caused this carnage came from and left by that direction. Oh no, I don't like the word search. Search basically means lose your buffs. Let's examine these tracks. I know, I know we have a fuck ton of survival. He has 12 survival. I think he can probably handle this. You recognize the large, uneven, roundish tracks as those of a lurker, a massive conglomeration of carnivorous plants. You also note a wide groove down the center of the tracks. It seems the lurkers were dragging something heavy behind them when they left. I don't think we've encountered any lurkers yet in this game. We did fight a bunch of lurkers in the first game. Lurkers are comprised of a colony of several different species of parasitic carnivorous plants and fungi working together to hunt a common prey. Maybe we have fought lurkers in this game. As a whole, they stand nearly 10 feet tall in a vaguely anthropomorphic body comprised of vines, leaves, roots, and earth. The coexistence of so many separate organisms makes them hardy and difficult to eradicate. It is usually best to sever the parts that enable locomotion, or, should their victim possess fuel and lack finesse, to simply light the entire colony on fire. Do you remember in Pillars 1? Oh, I don't know if you were watching back then. Well, it was really funny. During my very first stream of Pillars 1, the 50-hour stream, I was playing on Path of the Damned, and we saw a fucking stag, or, or a deer, or something. I think it was a stag. It was just a normal animal, though. It wasn't even hostile. Just wandering around in the wilderness. And I'm like, aha, we can kill that. <laughs> Maybe it has meat or something. And it fucking wiped my party. One stag. Not a magical stag. Just a regular stag. Killed my entire party. <laughs> I've never forgotten that. Apropos of nothing. While the means by which lurkers form remain something of a mystery, some speculate that they form when certain species of flesh-eating plants come together on a common host, such as the hollowed-out victims of dank spores, and that they achieve locomotion. Ooh, what's wrong with me today? Once sufficiently colonized. This theory is supported by the fact that so many lurkers contain burn. Bu wow, reading contain bones and other remains riddled with roots and spores when cut open. Lurkers are notorious for hiding in plain sight, often waiting motionless amongst the trees and underbrush to ambush their prey. They appear to hold a rudimentary intelligence and are at least sophisticated enough to store food, 
It is not uncommon to see several unconscious victims tangled in a lurker's vines to be saved for a later feeding. Your party didn't really stag up to it. Yeah, well that was one fight I shouldn't have instagated. I was fucking staggered by how powerful that thing was. Let me search for the presence of spirits. You focus your watcher abilities, opening yourself to the presence of any lingering essence. A vision tugs at you, dragging you forward like the rushing current of a flooded river. You see the creatures, nigh twice the height of a human, standing among the ruins of your campsite, eating the corpses of your fellows. Vines and moss hang from their amorphous, bark-covered form. Lurkers. Waves of anger and fear wash over you. Anger and fear, but also faith in Aethus returned. And, with a prayer on your lips, you fire arrows from your enchanted bow, each as cold as sleet. <gasps> I wanna find that bow so bad! I gotta find that enchanted bow! I'm really sorry these people died, but actually I'm not because I could get a magic bow! You hear a rushing sound to your right, and turn to face it. The vision ends abruptly. Oh, we're searching for salvage. A few hides, antlers, and other trophies lie around the camp. Okay, none of those things are magic bow. A small chest buried in the collapsed tent contains a variety of fresh foods. Milk! Wow, this is a fuck ton of food. Milk! Alright, none of these things are magic bow, though. You might find a bonus? I'm hoping so, Nox. Finish investigating. Um... Let's search the area with perception. Oh wait, we've read that. We've read that. We've read that. We're finished investigating. You want to put the lamp of yours to you, Shoti? Hey, y'all! Line up for the after afterlife now, you hear? Rest now, my brethren. I promise I will safeguard your journey. Head bowed, Shoti sways her lantern for a long while in harvest, providing ample time for the missionary souls to accept the pull of the light. We'll bury the bodies. Actually, burying is stupid. We'll burn the bodies. You collect and wrap the remains, then gather tinder and kindling to build a small bonfire. As the bodies burn, you try not to breathe too deeply of the smoke from the smoldering flesh. Adair and Sh Shodi both like that because it's pro aothasian Oh no! <laughs> One hour passed! Okay, my metaphysics is still seven. We might be okay. Glad that somebody's watching over them, even if it isn't necessarily Aethys. Oh, that's a deer talking. Glad that somebody's watching over them, even if it isn't necessarily Aethys. Appreciate you doing this. A deer nods at you. And the cycle continues. Though the body is thusly shucked, the soul will find its way to a new beginning. Jody bows her head. Palagina's golden eyes narrow. Alright, follow the tracks. We're gonna fight, fight us some lurkers and get a magic bow. That's what I'm assuming fucking happens here. The creatures seem to have put no effort into hiding their tracks, and you easily follow them deeper into the jungle. The path enters a clearing, and you almost walk into it without recognizing the danger. Yeah, because I only have a 23 perception. Oh, I can use my spyglass. From the edge of the foliage, you see numerous lurkers among a few bulbous dank spores. Ah, uh, dank spores. The primordials remain almost entirely still, seeming no more threatening than the trees that surround them. Wait, I can do this? I can conjure a magical decoy as a distraction? Whoa, he can, because he's got- he actually has a spell that does that. That's fucking cool. But I want to use my spyglass, because I didn't pay 5,000 coins for a spyglass not to use it. You know what I'm saying? 
In addition to the lurkers and dank spores, your spyglass reveals a few smaller sporelings lurking in the undergrowth. Oh, I see the bow! Furthermore, you see the corpse of a young elven woman, her right leg horribly twisted. The body grasps a bow in its right hand, the intricately tooled wood of which appears to shimmer with a fine layer of frost. It's about damn time. I mean, I'm sad for her and everything, but... All right, let's let's do uh, let's do some Adair trickery. Magical decoy, essential phantom. Chanting quietly, Aloth performs a complex rite and summons something at the far edge of the clearing. It crashes loudly through the thick growth. The lurkers slowly shift and stomp away after the sound. The spores, however, remain. I was actually okay with fighting the lurkers. I just wanted to use a cool thing because it gave me the option to use a cool thing. Magical decoy Nox bluff. Trouble up ahead. All this chasing after Aethys. It's brought back memories of the Saints War. A dare we're literally in a fight. But let's talk about it. Why not? <laughs> Tell me more. Oh no. Crash time already. But we got a patch. Oh, motherfuckers. Oh, look. Oh, but good. It's the kind of crash that's not shutting down my whole PC. This is a much better kind of crash. Even OBS is still running, it looks like. So 